Good morning, everyone. My name is Amanda Waldhart, and you are here with Amanda's InspirationStation.com. Welcome, welcome, and thank you. Today is day nine of my 14 days of sweet treats. Um, the first seven days, we concentrated on the sweet strawberry bundle. And now for the last seven days, we are going to be concentrating on the sweet ice cream bundle. Um, I'm super excited to show you today's project, as I am every day until this is um, all finished and I show you all seven of them. Yesterday, we did a little adorable um, notepad um, using colors and products from this ice cream um, ice cream corner suite. So we have the ice sweet ice cream um, bundle, and then we're using the sweet ice cream corner designer series paper. Well, sweet treats don't always have to be something that you eat. They can be little gifts. So today I'm going to show you some something else that's cool that is not a sweet treat that you eat. Also, just to remind everyone that Celebrations is still going on right now. Um, this is going on until February 28th. So if there's something in this little adorable brochure that you want that you don't have yet, you do have till February 28th to get that. You can shop at amandasinspirationstation.com. Um, and if you would like to, um, I would appreciate it if you would use this hostess code, which I also have in my blog. Um, if you are watching me on my YouTube channel, thank you so much. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. And to get to my blog on the right, um, there is a little orange flower. If you click that, it takes you directly to my blog. Um, and that's where you can purchase and shop online. I also have the full PDF of the first seven days of the sweet strawberry. It is filled with all the colored copy pictures, measurements, instructions, supply lists, plus you have the videos on my YouTube channel to refer back to. Um, I will also have a full PDF on the sweet ice cream, but that will not be available until February 14th. And that's because each day I want um, it to be a surprise as to the product that I show you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Yesterday we did a notepad. Today we are going to do a little gift that is little three by three note cards. So we have this cute little acetate box. I think this is absolutely adorable. And then on the inside, I have three cards. They are three three by three note cards. They're just thank you cards. This would be such a nice little gift to give anybody, your neighbor. I mean, people like to give little thank you cards out. Um, it could be your neighbor, it could be your teacher, it could be your friends, it could be anybody. Um, and then there's also little three by three envelopes inside there, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I'm gonna show you these boxes. I'm gonna put this right up here. These boxes are found on page 152 in your annual catalog. They are the 3 and 1 8 by 3 and 1 8 acetate card boxes. You actually get 10 of these boxes in a pack for $6. I think that's a steal. You can make up a bunch of these. They are so cute. So that's, that's that. Um, and then they look like this. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put ours together. They're already bent in everything for you. You just have to kind of bend them. They're like a harder plastic. So you definitely want to like bend in on the score lines. And we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put this together. Super easy. Okay, so there's that one. And then there's that. Super easy, there we go. So there's our box, okay? There's our box. I'm gonna set this aside for right now. The other supplies that you're going to need is you're going to need some card base. Now, I just took our basic white and I cut these three inches by six. So these are cut three by six and then I scored them at three. You don't even have to score them if you don't want to. You could just fold them in half and use your bone folder. 
and just do it like that. But I did score them for the sake of the video because it is a lot easier to do it that way. So there are those. Then you need three of the three by three envelopes, which are also, I believe, on that same, nope, they're not on the same page. They are on the following page over here on 153, and they are right here. So you get 40 envelopes for $10. So super cute. Okay. So we have those. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our little envelopes in here. Just put them right in the back. Okay. We'll set that aside. Then we're going to use that ice cream cone corner designer series paper. So for the sake of the video, I've already cut and die cutted um, items. So I cut these pieces that I'm going to use and I cut these at two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And then these ones here are actually, you'll need four of these circles because you're going to put one on each front of your card and then one on the front of your outside of your little box. These are from the Stitched Shapes dies. And I'm trying to think, I don't think I put which one it is. So I know it's not the largest. I think it's the second to largest. Yes. So it's not the largest stitch shape circle. It's the second to largest. All right. So we have that. Now we need these little white pieces right here. These little white shapes to stamp the um, thank you on. So we need four of those because, again, one's going to go on the outside of your box. And that is actually from the Ornate Frames dies. That is this guy right here. Okay. Then you're going to need a belly band for around your box. This measures at 2 inches by 10 inches. And then we're going to need some of this gorgeous Blackberry Bliss sheer ribbon, striped sheer ribbon. So we're going to need some of that. Then the ink pads that we're going to need today are Blackberry Bliss, Bermuda Bay, Terracotta Tile, and Bumblebee. And then we need some of our Rhinestone Basic Jewels. All right, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave these ones right here. And I'm going to set these aside. And we'll do one at a time here. So we're going to just place this flat right here. So we need our stamp and seal. And we're just going to place that flat. And how you put your stripes, if you want your stripes going this way, you can. I put mine going up and down. Honestly, that does not matter. You are going to need some dimensionals because we are going to pop up. Ah, let me get my dimensionals here. We're going to pop up this stitched circle. Let's see here. We're going to use all of these little dimensionals here. I go through dimensionals so quickly, but I use every little piece. There we go. So we're going to pop that up. I think these are so cute. We're just going to place that there. And actually, let's go ahead and get all of our cards parts made. And then what we'll do is we'll do some stamping. All right, so now we're going to place that there. Pop up our circle. I think this is so cute. These make such cute little gifts. I think especially to teachers because... You know, when when students give teachers things, um, you know, they probably have a little thank you stationery set probably sitting right on their desk. And how cute would it be for you to make them that little thank you stationery set to give to them? All right, so there are our cards, okay? So now let's go ahead and do some stamping. We'll do our box last, but we're going to do our stamping, thank you, on these pieces for our box. So we want one of each color, all to say thank you. So I'm going to start with the bumblebee here, and I'm just going to stamp... And I'm going to get out my, actually, give me a minute. I'm going to get out my piercing mat here. 
Okay, this little guy doesn't want to pick up. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to stamp the first one in Bumblebee. And we'll just do that. There we go. And then I have my little stamp case here, and I have pieces that are broken up of my chamois um, that I now just kind of take and I wipe my block. So then we're going to do the next color, which it doesn't matter what color you do. I'll just grab the terracotta tile and we'll get that nice and inked up. And we'll do that one. Again, we're going to take this and wipe that. And actually, I want to make sure that that's, there we go. All right, so we'll do Bermuda Bay. Aren't these colors just gorgeous together? I love them together. And one more, we have Blackberry Bliss. So we'll wipe that. And you can just leave your sham. You don't have to cut it all up. You could leave it in here and then just wipe like that. I have another one that I do that too. But sometimes I just like taking the little guy and wiping my blocks with it. All right, and then we have the thank you and the Blackberry Bliss. And there we go. And before I even put this over there, I'm just going to wipe it now so I don't have to wipe it later. So there's that. And we are done with the stamping part. So we're all done with that stamping part. All right, so now we just need to... Up put these on and we are going to put these on all with dimensionals so let me flip these all over there's that one again that doesn't want to flip all right so we're gonna do and using up all my little dimensionals here all right we're gonna peel those off Peel those off. What'd you guys think of the Super Bowl last night? For those of you who watch it, I do love football. All right, so I need the Blackberry Bliss one. That's I did that one on this one, so I'm literally just going to pop that up right like that. I did the terracotta tile on this one, so I'm just going to do that. Let's see here. This Bermuda Bay is going to go on my circle over here because that's going to go on the front of my box. And then I have the bumblebee on this one. So we're gonna go like that. Now let's go ahead and get out our little jewels, our little gems. And we're just gonna place, place one up in the right hand side corner here. Like that. And then we're going to do another one over here. Like, oh, this one wants to stick to my finger. Like that. Like that. There's that. All right, we're done with that part. So now we have our cards already done. How cute are these? So we just need to put these back in our little cute little box. So we're going to put those in our cute little box. And we're going to shut it. Now we just need to do the belly band. So I have it right over here. I am going to use um, some tear and tape. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of start with the front and just kind of wrap it around like this. So I want a little tear and tape right there. But I also want a little tear and tape on this side here. So we're going to put a little tear and tape on this side here. I'm gonna take my little poker tool here. I'm gonna peel that off. Oops, I just moved that. I will straighten that back up in a second. All right, so we're going to literally wrap that like that, center it, and once I get it where I want it, 
I'm going to then just lay it like that. There we go. There is our belly band. So it slides off and on, but I'm not gonna slide it off and on. There is our cute little belly band. Now, before we put our circle on, I want to attach the ribbon. I did not measure the ribbon. How I usually do it when I'm creating these projects is I literally just kind of pull my ribbon out like this. And I want to make sure that I have enough ribbon on this side to create a decent sized bow. So I'm going to kind of pull it like this because I kind of want the bow to be a little bit bigger. And we're going to go like that. And then I'm just going to tie it. So I'm going to turn it like this just because it's easier for me to tie it this way. And there's the tie. We've got the little knot here. Now we need our little Mickey ears. And there we go. And I'm going to trim this side right like that. There, how cute is that? See, this project did not take very long either, so you could whip up quite a few of these. And look at that, I have exactly, oh, nope, I'm going to be short, one little dimensional, which means I'm gonna have to open a whole new package. So I'm going to open a whole new package here. I open these quite often. <laughs> All right. Like it's nothing for me to order probably 10 packs of these because I use them all the time. All right, so now I'm just going to place that right there. And there is your cute little adorable box with all three of your thank you cards in there. What a cute little gift to give somebody. So cute. And then yesterday's, yesterday's make and take, which I'm gonna show is a little notebook. I mean, here you've got a little notebook and you've got little note cards. So adorable. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products, I do know right now that the ice cream cone um, bundle is unavailable. Now, when I say the bundle, purchasing the bundle has a different number than purchasing the stamp set and the, the um, punch separately. The bundle saves you 10%. Currently, right now, this is unavailable. Um, same with the Strawberry Builder Punch. They're both unavailable, but they say they're coming in the week of February 22nd. So hopefully they do come in in time for um, anyone to purchase during celebration. So that part is currently unavailable, um, but there are other pieces and maybe you already have the stamp set in the bundle and you just wanna get some of these boxes and envelopes so you can start making some of these cute, adorable little thank you note cards. All right. I will see you guys back here tomorrow. I can't wait to show you another project from the sweet ice cream. You have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye.